Hello and welcome back to my small little library. Today is the wrap up for February, which was a really really weird month. I had some health problems, it felt like forever, I don't remember half the books I've read. Yeah, but we made it through, which is the most important part of this whole thing. And yeah, let's talk about the things that I did manage to read and what I thought about them. I did start the month with a really really good read and that was Fugitive Telemetry by Martha Wells, which is the sixth book in the Murderbot series. It was amazing as is the rest of the series, but yeah, I liked it quite a bit. Um, the story picked up again. It was really really fun to listen to, so um, yeah, I gave that one five stars. I'm such a big fan of the series, so yeah, if you ever get the chance to listen to the Murderbot series, please, please do. Um, I like buy them, but I listen to all of them and the audiobooks are really really great. So for me, big hit, you know. Then I went into a book which I thought I wouldn't love as much and it turns out I didn't, but yeah. That is If It Bleeds by Stephen King. This one is a shorter story collection. It's not really short short stories. Um, there are four stories in here. We have like, I don't know, 400 pages or something like that. So or like 450 pages so you know roughly 100 pages per story um some are shorter some are longer um but yeah the main story in here the if it bleeds story is about the some characters from the mr mercedes book line i don't know what the um series is called but you know the mr mercedes is the first book in the series and then holly is the newest book in the series and um the story in here i think is between the third book and the holly book as far as i know um but yeah i haven't read that because i didn't like mr mercedes that much um so i didn't expect to like that story and that was true there were some more interesting stories, but all in all, I just felt like the stories just felt off. They didn't feel like that typical Stephen King feeling, you know? And I read quite a few Stephen King books and I loved all of them, like in the last few weeks and months. And I loved them all, but this one just really felt like really average compared to his other books, so I gave it three stars. And because I think I did like the first and the second story, I think, quite a bit more. And then the third one was the Mr. Mercedes story, which I don't care for. And the last one was just plain weird, so yeah, I don't know. I'm, I'm not sure if I would really recommend this book. I think you can do without this one, to be honest. It's, it's really the one Stephen King book I really wouldn't recommend, which... Um, happens you know then i read a short story on Kindle unlimited that is called these alien skies and it is um it is part of the short story collection black stars on amazon kindle and when you have Kindle unlimited and it's all just short stories about like shorter space stories by black authors and the author is called ct rivizi i think i'm Sorry if I mispronounce it. I don't really know how to pronounce it, so yeah. Um, but yeah, I gave that story four stars. That was actually a really enjoyable short story. I wish there would have been a long version of it because it is a really, really interesting like idea behind it. But it's pretty much our main character goes through a wormhole um, in with his girlfriend one is a guy one is a girl i um, misremember all the time who's the main character but yeah they go through a wormhole to like a new planet to kind of find out if it's inhabitable for humans and um yeah they kind of the gate to get back get destroyed and so they go down to the planet you know and then things kind of happen from there and it's it's a little bit about loss but also finding something new and it was a really really interesting story i really liked it I like the version like where pretty much um, you have you have like a different culture, you know, because in in uh, in this book the African countries have like their own space program and you know they speak only that language and stuff like that, and so you have a lot of like different culture in there, and that was really interesting like compared to your typical sci-fi where you have just like a generalized human culture, you have more of like a bit like more detailed 
culture, which I find to be really, really interesting. So yeah, I, I do still have the plan to continue with that collection. Um, I'm not thinking that I will love all of them because I have my problems with short stories, but that one actually worked really, really well for the length that it was. It felt finished. Um, but yeah, I think I would love a book version of that because it sounded really interesting. Then after that I read another great book and that was The Invocations. This was the Illumi Crate Evernight Book of the Month um, in well, from January, but obviously the book comes a little bit later. Um, so yeah, this is a supernatural horror story and we, it is pretty much a modern tale of witches. And we have three main characters who for different reasons seek out witchcraft and they find together to solve some murders that involve all three of them, kind of. And yeah, the story goes from there. It's a great adventure. I won't say much more because I think the story is really interesting and finding out for yourself is really great. But yeah, I give it five stars. I was really impressed. I really loved all of the characters. I, I liked how the story was spun. It plays out in modern England. So in London and Oxford and pretty much on the in the country, um, and it was really really interesting the way how magic is done and how this is kind of more of like, I hate saying a feminist book because I feel like you know it should just be normal that you have a book with really really strong female characters that kind of just try to make a living better for the women in the world because women often do have a disadvantage and so yeah. Here, magic can only be used by women, and that is kind of a cool concept. So, it also it plays into women being accused of witchcraft, you know, because they do play onto that, you know, the real history of witch burnings and stuff like that. So yeah, I really loved it. It's by Crystal Sutherland. I also read another book by her earlier, so I'm really happy that I liked two books by her already, which is a good track record, you know. So yeah, if you haven't read that yet, read The Invocations. It's great. Then I listened to an audiobook that is called For Getting the Benefits of Not Remembering and that is uh, pretty much a relatively short, I feel like, for a non-fiction uh, book because it was only eight hours long. But yeah, it's um, an audiobook about dementia and just how our memory works and why some people have better memory than other people and that having like bad memory in some sense doesn't mean that you you know, I had a disadvantage, for example, or that you will get Alzheimer's or like dementia earlier. So yeah, that was really interesting. I gave it four stars. I would have wished it was longer and would have kind of gone over more, but I do get, I mean, the person is actively working at a university and in research and with patients. So obviously he doesn't have the time to write that many books, you know, but it was a great insight and if you want to know more about that, which I think is sensible because a lot of people get dementia when they get older, um, I think it would be a really, really great book to just kind of get a little bit of an insight in the topic. Then I listened to another audiobook, which wasn't as great, called Robopocalypse. And that is pretty much just an audiobook in incremental stories, pretty much. Um, it was um, published first in like really short story bursts and then they put it all together in the audiobook which didn't work out but yeah we're coming to that and the story is pretty much just robots taking over um, people use robots for everything and then they take over and our human character throughout the story just try to get their world back and I like the concept of the story I think it's a really great concept but the problem is because they are told in these short story increments, it is really confusing. You get so many different people, you lose track of them, some never come up again, then, you know, going through the book, um, at some point there are crystallizing, you know, main characters, but they all just really started at the middle of the book. It was really, really weird. I didn't enjoy the concept of the storytelling at all. You had so many, like, just like, empty spaces in the story where I was like, okay, but, but, but what happened there? So yeah, it wasn't really that enjoyable. I still gave it three stars. I liked the idea. I did like the writing style from the author. I just did not like the way the book was told. Uh, also, Forgetting is by Scott A. Small and Robopocalypse is by Daniel H. Wilson. 
Then I read the worst audiobook so far for this month and that was The Con Queen of Hollywood by Scott C. Johnson. Um, it's The case in itself is really interesting. The con queen is pretty much a guy and who cons people into thinking that he's these high women in Hollywood and the people do stuff for him and he gets money through that scheme. And he did that with a lot, a lot, a lot of people, like in the hundreds. And the biggest problem with the audiobook, where it only gave it two stars, is that the author just doesn't know how to tell a story. It doesn't work at all, it is really confusing, it's just a jumbled mess of stuff thrown together and then talked through as if he didn't think about how he would tell the story at all. Which is why I gave it to start because the case is really interesting, the book is rubbish to be honest. So yeah, I wouldn't um, recommend reading that. I, I'm still trying to find a different book about the same topic, but yeah, that one really doesn't work out at all. Then, because I haven't read a whole lot of fantasy this year, I went back to the Terry Pratchett collection because I'm not through that yet, but I had quite some time where I didn't read anything of that. But this was the one where I left off the last time, so I did read Nightwatch by Terry Pratchett. I gave it three stars. To be fair, the um, Nightwatch books aren't really my favorite. I love a lot of the other characters a lot more than Rhymes and his companions, but I do enjoy the world and I do enjoy Terry Pratchett's writing and just, you know, the squirt and more fog in general are just great. So yeah, I gave it three stars. It's a fine book. It's not my favorite Terry Pratchett topic. Then I listened to The Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy, which was my third reread of this book. And to be honest, I like it less the more I listen to it, which, well, it's my first listening. I read it two times in like once as an ebook, and then the second time the complete um, series as a book. And then now I listen to just the first part. The more I listen to it, the less I like it. I don't know why, but I still gave it four stars because, you know, it's one of those nostalgic stories that you just like. But the more I listen to it, the less kind of great I find it. I don't know, it just feels like kind of an average book. I've read a lot more great books than that one, so I don't know. Um, it's by Douglas Adams, if you don't know. But yeah, if you haven't read The Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy, you should at least once, I think. But I feel like the, it's not a good book to reread. Then, next up, I read another Terry Pratchett book, and this is Monstrous Regiment. I also gave the three stars, because this is just about war. And Vimes. Vimes is also in there. Um, but yeah, it's pretty much just Vimes trying to um, stop a war, because they don't want war um, on the outside, you know. And he's sent from Unmogpog into this different kingdom, and he tries to, you know, talk them out of getting into a war, but they all seem to be really, really trigger happy. And um, the other part of the book is pretty much a really diverse, small part of the army, and we follow them from like hiring onto the army and then until later. Um, but yeah, for me, these just topic-wise aren't my favorite, which is why I gave it three stars, you know. But um, yeah, I really like these editions, you know, they're really, really pretty editions. And then the last book that I read in February was Dead, which is the first book in the Temperance Bryan series by Casey Rice. And I love this book. Um, it's a lot of fun to read. I gave it four stars. It's not like, you know, one of these masterworks that reads incredibly great or anything. But I get so much enjoyment out of these books. Um, I did already read this once as an ebook, but I bought myself a collection of Kathy Rice books, so now I have the chance to read it in a physical form, and I really enjoy it. I think it's a great first introduction to Temperance Brennan. This is the first book in the series, and it was a great introduction. And yeah, if you like to read some interesting thrillers with like the focus on to on the anthropological side of the crime, then the Kathy Rice series I feel like is a really, really great series. So yeah, I have a lot of fun reading these. I'm currently working my way through the whole series. Um, so there are a lot more of those to come in the next weeks and months, probably, maybe. <laughs> so yeah, those are all of the books I read in February. Not as much as I want to, but I still feel like I have read quite a bit, you know. I listened to most of it because I, for some parts of the month, I just couldn't read. I had to listen because 
I was just physically not capable to really pick up a book and read it. But you know, life happens and we just work around that. So yeah, thank you for watching. Maybe leave some book recommendations in the comments below. That would be really nice. I'm always looking for new books and hopefully I will see you in the next video.